Yo, what up? It's your boy Taquan. What? What the? Hold on, let me just fix this. What up? This is your boy Taquan, man, and I'm just here to speak on a few things that's been going on, and just give y'all my just honest thoughts and opinions. I know y'all don't know who the fuck I am, or you may know who I am, or you may want to know who I am, who knows. The situation, what's going on right now, it really bothers me. I don't like it. Um, simply because this is, this is a guy that I call my brother. You know, this is a guy who I call my brother, my homie. You know what I'm saying? This is a guy who inspired me to become a YouTuber back in 2000. Nine, when I first seen him, I made my channel 2010. I started posting in 2011. Him and Steven Joe are the two people that made me become a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Because I look up to those two guys. I spoke on it several different times. I tell this dude this shit all the time. And I want to say like in 2014 or 15, I made a video called message to spoken reasons just basically explaining that you know i look up to him i hope to one day work with him and this and that and from that day he seen the video we linked we did work and it just became a fucking bond a bond two content geniuses that ended up bonding together and forming a fucking brotherhood you know what i'm saying and just it just got real over the years for us, man. And I'm going to tell you this. Working with Spoken Reasons is just like this. You have a guy that's a fucking genius. That just has all these ideas and thoughts and shit like that. Then you have a guy like me. The same thing. I'm a guy that has so many ideas that just think of this crazy content that we can do together or by myself it doesn't matter like I, I have like all the ideas in the world my goal was to become a big youtuber as well because i look up to guys like steven joe spoken reasons dormitainment kane carter you know what i'm saying the list goes on deshaun raw uh, uh uh trey melvin like it's, it's it's a lot of them those guys are black entertainment right there because i over the years man i just like i see the stuff that's being made out here and, and i see like a lot of people don't want to give credit to the originators and i just came up with this thing called bie black internet entertainment and that's the category that i put those guys in because spoken reasons steven joe deshaun raw dormantainment all those guys they are the ones who started black entertainment steven joe is the reason why a lot of motherfuckers is running around doing the shit they do in public acting crazy and shit they get that shit from steven joe then you have other people that's doing rants and shit that's steven that that's spoken reasons all the fucking way bro like come on but anyways what is it like working with spokes it's just this guy is amazing you know what i'm saying like he's a genuine guy like this guy took the time out in his hands to reach out to me and and just pretty much watched me over the years to watch me grow and evolve and shit like that because i'm just a young black dude in fort lauderdale florida that was trying to become a big youtuber because it's my dream it's my goal and stuff like that so you know I was doing everything I can to become that. And of course, I had my dark days. I had my days while I felt depressed. I felt like I didn't want to do YouTube no more. I kept giving up on my channel. I kept giving up on myself and giving up on my fan base and stuff like that. Like, my views wasn't where they are. My subscribers are not moving and shit like that. So it's like, I've seen a lot and I've been through a lot. And you got this guy that's just in the cut watching me and from time to time would message me and tell me, hey, bro, don't go giving up on me, bro. I see a lot in you, bro. You can do this. This is this shit is for you, bro. You got you got what it takes to become a fucking successful guy on YouTube. Fast forward a few years later, he inboxed me on Facebook and say, hey, bro, 
let's work. He sent me his number. We spoke on the phone for the first time. I was shocked. I was shocked because this is a guy who I look up to, you know what I'm saying? Hitting me up saying, hey, bro, let's work. And I'm like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? Months later, well, we politicked on the phone for some hours, man, just talked about a lot of stuff. Um, some months later, we linked for the first time. This man drove all the way down from Orlando to Fort Lauderdale to the hood. We brought him to the hood, man. And we did a skit. It was fucking hilarious. You know what I'm saying? But it got it got corrupted because of his laptop and stuff like that. Fast forward years later, we did more stuff and more videos. We did so much shit. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Not one time have I ever brought up that I needed money. Not one time have I said, hey, bro, I need cash for this. Or, hey, bro, I ain't going to lie. I know you got money because you, you was in movies. and No, that wasn't me at all. I didn't give a fuck about that shit. I was just excited about working with a guy that I looked up to. You know what I'm saying? I didn't care about fucking funds and all that shit like that. I didn't not one time beg this man or ever hit this man up and say, Bro, I need money for that video we did. I didn't do none of that shit. I didn't do none of that because I was doing this shit out of... Out of love, because I want to see both both of us win. I want to finally become somebody on this platform and stuff like that. You know, when I just think about a lot of shit, man, this dude legit. Every time we link up, and I and I don't even have to tell you this shit, but this dude pays for my tickets back and forth. Buy me food. We get the props for the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, he does a lot because of my living situation. My living situation is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know y'all don't know me, whatever. If you do decide to subscribe and go want to go back in time and see my stuff, I've been through a lot of shit recently. Living situations, living in the streets and all this stuff. While I was sleeping in the parking lot with my people two years ago, this man hit me up. And say, bruh, let's make a fucking movie. We did a fucking comedy Halloween movie starring me. Deal with the devil. In the midst of that, I was literally sleeping in the fucking parking lot. In my dad's car. All our clothes and shit in the trunk, in the car, like stuffed. When he hit me up and say, bruh, I know you may not want to leave your peoples right now, bruh. But, you know, let's do this movie, bruh. I got you. And, of course, I took that, that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And I told my peoples, hey, I'll be back in probably, like, a, a week or so. I'm finna go up here to fucking um, Orlando, and we finna do this movie and this and that. Like, we did a fucking legit two-hour movie. That was amazing. And I left the fucking DVD in the house because we did DVD copies, too. But I was supposed to bring that out. But we did a fucking movie, man. We did a movie. You know what I'm saying? All right. We did a whole fucking movie. And it was a successful movie. And this man paid a lot of people that was a part of that movie. This man bought props for these people. Bought food. Airbnbs. You know what I'm saying? Like, we... did. I, I, I've seen it with my own eyes. This dude do a lot for people. So it's like, when I see... What I'm seeing now is... People are finding a way to get some type of clout out of this situation. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like it. I, I, I don't like it. I, I really despise this situation. I hate that this situation is going on because this is my homie. This is somebody who I look up to, man, that's being bashed by former fans or used to be fans or pretend fans or whatever the case may be. And I know y'all going to bash me too and talk about me too. And that's fine. I, I don't care at the end of the day. It's just me, I'm coming out as humble as I can be because this is a friend to me. This is my homie. This is my, my fucking brother at the end of the day, man. So, you know. So, yeah, man, working with Spoken Reasons is just it's, it's pretty it's pretty cool, bro. Like, it's, it's cool. Like, I never had no situations, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's just two fucking geniuses working together trying to make, you know, more uh, magic in the world, man, for people to enjoy. I just don't like the fact that because of this situation, 
all these people are like bashing him and disrespecting him and you know what I'm saying and saying like he's not funny he's not this but what was the same energy before the situation was brought up you know what I'm saying like I feel like these people that are doing this are only doing this because of the situation you know what I'm saying yeah his situation ain't the same right now yeah his views aren't the same right now and stuff like that everybody knows that you know but I don't know. I just, I don't like this shit, bro. I, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I knew this, the whole story behind the Wild and Out thing. I I was honestly supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? But it was some last minute shit. But, you know, it's just crazy, man. It really bothers me. It, I, I really don't like this situation whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I know supposed gonna see this video, but like nigga, hey, I appreciate the words and all this and that and whatever, whatever, whatever comes after this situation is just gonna happen. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I fuck with Emmanuel. You know what I'm saying? I used to watch his shit all the time. Two, you know what I'm saying? I used to comment on his shit. He used to respond back to me, all this type of stuff. It, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just cordial. It's just black folks trying to entertain those on another platform. And the only true people who know the truth behind the situation is those two. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like what's going on right now, you know? I really don't. But we can use this as an opportunity to uh, make this happen and, and just do content and get whatever you want to get up out of it. You know what I'm saying? I know this going to bring me some little views whatever you know so like i say y'all gonna bash me y'all gonna crack on me y'all might say hey man this dude is cool listen i'm all about entertaining i'm all about that i'm all about entertaining everybody but i just want to speak on like my friend because this is my my fucking my dog this is my homie this is my brother this is a nigga that i talk to almost every single fucking day you know what i'm saying and i just don't like the situation whatsoever so you know I just really don't like it. I just don't like this situation. You know, I mean, Kane Carter went through it with the whole Patrice O'Neill situation, and then years later, he came back as this, like, broken, uh, mad scientist-ass character, and now everybody feels bad for him. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, what I kind of feel like what may happen in this situation with Spokes, you know? But, hey... We're looking at this situation as an opportunity of, I don't know, <laughs> just an opportunity, you know, because everybody is going to have their own input on the situation and, you know, it's whatever. But my honest, honesty in this shit is I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I wish it was different. I wish things was handled different. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a ride for sports. That's the homie. You know what I'm saying? And that's just... That's just what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah, you know, working with working with the man is just cool, bro. Like, the, 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 the motherfucker is funny as fuck. He's just flat out hilarious, cool, will give you the back, the shirt off your off his back, man. Like, he would do that, bro. I'm telling you, man, I've been through some shit. And this man, like, really always come through for me, bro. Like, even on some shit that I didn't even ask him to do, he comes through and just looks out, man. And just, he puts me on game about a lot of stuff. Especially when we first kicked it like that. He put me on game about the BMI and tune corn, all that stuff. How to make more money off all out of YouTube. It's like, he put me on game about all that shit, bro. Like, for real, for real, bro. And I'm forever grateful for the situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm forever grateful for this dude, man, and just showing me this shit. This man brought me to his house. I met his kid. I met his girl. Like, bro, this man is a genuine guy, bro. Like, I just don't understand. And he always put me on game by situations with people, working with people, the type of people you're going to meet, contracts, all that shit. Like, all that. All that. So, yeah. I know this video is all over the place, but it is what it is, man. Anyways, my name is Taquan, man. If you guys do uh, decide to subscribe to me and want to stick around, you can. If you don't, that's fine. Because like I say, I know y'all going to have all kinds of opinions about me. And it's all good and gravy. You know what I'm saying? The situation don't have nothing to do with me. 
But it's just, I see my homie being attacked, man, and I just kind of want to step in and just say, man, let's just say fuck all this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's your boy Quan. I am out, man. Peace. Quan!